Hello everyone, I am Shibby2142 on YouTube and I will be breaking down the Battlefield 3 gameplay trailer video slash whatever that they released today and I'll tell you what I saw and what I think. In the first sequence they showed I noticed the clan tags that defenders were wearing the defender tag, attackers had attacker tag, flag objective diamonds will be back, friendly markers or triangles from Bad Company 2 will also be back, squads of 4 will be the max size instead of squads of 6, Squads of 6 was Battlefield 2, Squads of 4 was Bad Company 2, and something new is the player health. So right now he has 100% health if you notice that on the right side. In the next sequence they showed, I could not decide if the person was either driving or in the gunner seat. So the possible alt fire with the 50 cal machine gun, that would be available to the driver. Uh, the gunner would already have that as his primary. I noticed that the crosshair is kind of ridiculous, um, not really a big fan of that. Uh, attacker tickets on the left side, so that'll be kind of like the rush mode on Bad Company 2. I did notice that there would be a squad leader star, so you'll see this in later clips, but I believe that's what it is, so the squad leader will have a star, and maybe you can only spawn on the squad leader and not other squad members. I'm not sure yet. Obviously, I haven't played the game, so that's just what I'm guessing right now. I noticed that the vehicle orientation will be a pentagon, and Bad Company 2, it's more of a rectangle. And then obviously the driver passenger on the right side will return, and then the vehicle health would be right above the player health on the right side. In this clip, this guy is definitely in the gunner seat. I noticed that there's a new thing with the distance. Um, when he's aiming, it goes from like 100 to 20 to 50, so I think that's the distance at where you're aiming. And then there is an aim level, so right now he is below level. He's kind of aiming at the tree stump. And then the comm sites on the left side will be kind of like the rush mode from Bad Company 2, or a variation of that. In the next sequence, I didn't really notice anything new that I haven't talked about yet, so I'll just have some notes. Uh, significant recoil with the ACOG scope and automatic weapons. This is expected. Player health seems to be a correct guess. Right now he's at 70-something health. There's no hit markers when zoomed, so I'm not sure if that's something that they're going to add later, but I notice when people are zoomed in in this game, you don't get a hit marker. And uh, there's no enemy triangle markers, like above the enemy heads, so that's one thing I noticed. So I don't know if that's taken out of the game, or they just didn't mark this certain group of people, I don't know. So that's what I noticed in this clip. So two things I noticed in this clip is some awesome scenery on the right side with a bike trail and a lake. Not sure if you and your buddies can put down the guns for a little bit and have a picnic, but we'll find out. And there's a lot of movement, which is expected. This uh, game, there's a lot of animation when you're moving and stuff, so that's pretty cool. But uh, I don't know, people with motion sickness, that might be a problem. The 443 pistol from Bad Company 2 makes its return, which is cool. I hope that these pop-ups are optional, so I don't really need to know if I've been playing the game for hundreds of hours that a base has been taken, so maybe that'll be a setting that I can uncheck. Uh, kit icons on the left side, and then points for taking down an enemy, avenging an enemy, and there's also something else that I can't make out. It almost looks like commander to me, but I don't think there's commanders in this game, so I'm not really sure about that one. There is an impressive explosion from an aerial source. You can see it come down from the sky, but I'm not sure from what. You get 100 points or experience for killing an enemy, and there's also a reload prompt that'll be uh, under the ammo on the right side that I also noticed in this clip. For a second here, I thought I was watching Star Wars, so I'm not sure if there's enemy and friendly tracer ammo. So I don't really know what's going on here, but there's red and green tracer ammo flying across the screen. So obviously it's some kind of firefight, but I'm not really sure what that's all about. And one thing that Battlefield 3 is doing that I really like is the one in the chamber. So say you reload when you don't have your full magazine all shot out, so there's still one in the chamber, and you reload, and then you'll have that 31 ammo. So that's pretty cool. A few things I noticed in the next clip was that star icon again, so I'm not sure if this is an enemy squad leader or not. I just played Killzone 3 recently, so this comes to mind. The Killzone 3-esque melee animations. Not sure if that'll be a different button than the knife button, or if the knife will just be a separate weapon. That would be kind of cool. Uh, this was a staged knife battle, if you look at the names. Media, knife, media 1. So I got a laugh out of that. And... The player health that I guessed earlier seems to be right because he went from 100 to 0% health and he got knife. so uh, I think I'm correct on that one. A few things I noticed in this clip is a new icon on the kill logs that could be an enemy squad leader being killed, or it could be a headshot icon, I'm not sure. There is the EKG icon to get revived. This player is under 100% health, he has one grenade, 
and the squad is all assaults. So this is what I noticed in this clip. The biggest thing I noticed in this clip was the hit marker when unscoped. He's using a machine gun with an ACOG so you can customize weapons, which we already knew. And he appears to be on defense with uh, the attacker tickets now in orange and the comp sites now in blue. In the next sequence, I noticed when the enemy gets killed, he was running with a pistol out, so he had his secondary out. But then his main weapon that was holstered gets flown upward and then it falls back down, so I just noticed that. It was something different. The RPG reappears, which is expected, and I'm still not seeing hit markers when scoped in or iron sighted, so that's just something to note. The next sequence is showcasing animation. I'm guessing he is jumping out of a second floor window or hole in the wall. That's pretty much all I see in this one. In this one I noticed that the van or the comm site or whatever the game mode will be, the van has been armed. And he also gets a double kill with a pistol. And that's really all I see in this one. So I see two things in this sequence is the Frostbite 2 engine being showcased with a rocket hitting the building. And we also have a new weapon here with a big scope on it, possibly a semi-automatic sniper rifle, but I'm not sure. This is the last sequence here. You may have thought that the destruction from the building somehow fell down and killed our player, but this is a completely different clip. You can see that because it's a grenade explosion. You can see the grenade kill message. Our player health is now zero, and our player was using a machine gun of some type because you can see all the ammo there. Wow, Shibby, you just took a video that's under a minute long and made it seven minutes long. Yeah, that was a mouthful, I'll say that. So that's the video that was released today, so I got right on it to analyze it for you guys. So if you could please give me a like for that. It was kind of a lot of work to slow down all these sequences and kind of analyze them all, just kind of staring at them for a bit and trying to figure out what was really going on. Like I said in the beginning, I am Shibby2142. If you'd come and check out my channel, that would be sweet. If you just want to subscribe to me right now, I promise I'll be bringing more Battlefield 3 footage to you, no doubt. So that's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching and I am out.